Uh, thank you. My name is Hwan Seok Chung, working at uh, ATRI Korea. Uh, it's my great pleasure to uh, become a first presenter in this small <laughs> WTSA Expo. Uh, do you know the Atri? Yes, uh, Atri is located in uh, Daejeon, uh, South Korea, not North Korea. South Korea and Atri is leading ICT technology in South Korea. Uh, maybe you know where the South Korea is very advanced in ICT technology. Uh, today I'd like to talk about some optical access technology. Maybe you, you are not familiar with optical access, but the, uh, after my presentation, I hope to, you understand basic of optical access and why this is very important in future networks. What you see here in white, white region, uh, we, we can cover this kind of service over existing uh, network, the conventional network, but in uh, the pink side, pink region, uh, those uh, applications need very low latency, around one millisecond, and around one gigabit per second per connection. So we need new internet and new uh, network. So uh, this is called uh, tactile internet. Uh, this is defined as ITOT in 2015. All human sense can interact with our environments and uh, machines. For example, the, the clicking, the web browsing is needed around one second, and uh, the audio, audio information is around 100 millisecond latency, and video is 10 milliseconds. But the tactile application, like a touch, uh, needs uh, one milliseconds. So, uh, to have a those tactile application over the network, uh, we need uh, less than one millisecond or order of one millisecond connections in the network. But nowadays, the, most of the network does not provide one millisecond connection latency. So maybe your system, the server will be located very close to uh, the, your exhibition stage. Yeah. Basically, the, those servers should be located in the uh, edge clouds or communication building. Also, the mobile internet, mobile traffic is main driving force in current uh, network technology. As you can see, as the mobile network goes to 4G, from 4G to 5G, and 5G advanced and beyond, so we need a very high optical, very high carrier frequency. For example, uh, in South Korea, uh, the 5G utilizes uh, around 3 gigahertz and as well as 28 gigahertz. In those very high uh, millimeter wave or high carrier frequency, uh, the carrier does not propagate into the long distance. So the wireless path becomes short and optical fiber should be uh, penetrate or expanded into the and the users. So we need many, many optical connectivity for each uh, AP or uh, mobile base station. So this, this shows the, some structure of optical access network. This is the edge cloud or communication building in the carrier. And in the end side, we, need, we have a vibe to the home, smart factory, mobile base station, and so on. Uh, typical distance is around 20 kilometer, and speed is around, uh, nowadays is 10 gigabit per second, or 25 gigabit per second. So to support these uh, new applications, we need uh, lots of new innovations. High bandwidth, low latency, or flexibility, uh, 
one of one method to to give flexibility in communication network is disaggregations. The current the network equipment is left hand side. There are uh, you can see the sharp type communication equipment, and this equipment is very typical to adding new service because the software part and hardware part is in a one box. So uh, we split hardware part, Mac and Pi, and manage and control part. Uh, we call hardware part is physical phone, physical access network, and software part is virtual phone. So in a virtual software part, we can add or replace many functions. Second one is the connectivity issues. The uh, high-speed internet or residential application, we typically we use the point-to-multi-point -point connection like this. And the 4G or 5G frontal utilize point-to-point -point or WDM uh, connection for each uh, base station. But in this case, there are many uh, cost issue because we have to provide one fiber or one optical wavelength for each uh, base station. So we want to uh, resolve connectivity and cost issue by uh, providing the op mobile, uh, mobile link uh, in, in a point to multipoint TDM network like this. But one of the problem of this uh, point to multipoint network is the Uplink size, the latency, because many, many uh, devices want to send data into the central office in, at the same time. So we have to solve these issues. This issue uh, is dealt with in ITOT in ITOT SG15 and Oran. Uh, we called. They call, or we, we also contribute in this standard, the cooperative DBA. Cooperative DBA means the sharing the uh, scheduling information between optical equipment and uh, mobile equipment, such as TU, digital units. And uh, the cooperative transport interface between two uh, uh, messages. This is defined as uh, ORAN. So we we have uh, we demonstrate this uh, principle and standard technology in our booth. You can visit our booth and you can see uh, more details in the in that site. Thank you.